Hey guys, Daniel here, working on the 1988 Suzuki GSX-R750 project. The last video was removing the caliper pistons. Um, here, we're going to actually show you how to rebuild, or clean and rebuild. Now, I've, I just want to try and speed up this process so the video doesn't go for like 10, 20 minutes. So, I've got some of the calipers already cleaned. I've got the two rear ones here. We've got the half of the fronts and we've got one still in there with a couple of pistons just to show you, give you an idea of how to clean them. So um, we've also got brand new seals. So we've got the rear seals here. Now these are genuine Suzuki, which was fantastic. Unfortunately, couldn't get the front ones genuine, uh, discontinued. So there's a brand called All Balls, All Balls, ha. Um, and they have a really um, detailed kit so it it covers everything uh, for those front calipers so I'm just going to put this down here and hopefully you can see what I'm doing I'm going to start off with just cl the cleaning process and um, here's the tub here so after removing removing the pistons look at that yummy yummy stuff so that's how disgusting, I mean, this bike sat for six years, so, you know, that's why it's so crucial. Now, brake cleaner, that's the first thing you need. Actually, I'll just run through what we do need in the process. Um, obviously, brake cleaner, um, really handy, is steel wool. Um, now, these are crucial little dental picks and... You can get yourself cheap little brushes. Now you want either a little trick, just go grab some toothbrushes, they do the trick. But I had these. Uh, you want to be careful with uh, using metal um, in certain areas. Sometimes you can use them, you just got to do it to your discretion. Just be a little bit cautious about it, that's all. Okay, so just getting this stuff out is pretty straightforward. It's just a matter of spraying it in there. Um, now sometimes the cheapest stuff is really good. So I've got the liquid molly which was quite expensive. And um, and this is just the cheap gear. The only good thing about it is, is that the liquid molly actually has that little nozzle on the end that you can stick down into areas to get it out and you can really clean out other areas that this doesn't allow you to. So I'm not going to go through the entire process, but it's just a matter of really getting in there, getting all that gunk out. Um, I love to use socks, old socks, buns, and sometimes you just, you know, get in there, give it a good clean, right, and just rinse and repeat. Just keep going over and over and over until you've got that super duper clean. Okay, so that's 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 getting there anyway. All right, now. So we're not boring you, we'll jump over to the pistons. The pistons are crucial. Here we go. So what we're doing is give them a good clean. But what we want to look at is see all this stuff up the top here. That's why you want your steel wall. Just gonna grab some now. And you want to just work your way around. Now this is a medium, you can even use a, a light, but you just want to work your way around and just clean off all that gunk and just make sure it's all really, really smooth. So if you do feel, you want to be running your fingers over it and feeling for any indents. If there are any indents, you want to be working very carefully. And if it's any worse than that, then you may need new pistons okay so i'm not going to go through the entire process i'm going to jump over to here where we're going to show you the next step so we've actually got some clean pistons here already look how nice they are okay and i'm going to show you the first of all removing so you, you want to use this guy here the dental pick and you want to just be able to pick the seal out okay be able to pick it out and there we go 
Now there's two seals on this. These are the front ones. So there's your there's your second one. So there's two there. All right. That just gives you a bit of an idea. Now we're going to actually jump to the back one here. I've already put a piston in, and I've put the boot around it. I'm not going to show you how to put the boot in because it takes forever. So here we are. This is a brand new clean one. Now I did use a little bit of steel wool. And I did run it in the inside just to clean it up, make sure that it's all really, really tidy. Okay. So what you want to be doing is you want to be grabbing your new seal, genuine Suzuki. Woo -woo. Just want to run your, just run a little bit of um, uh, brake fluid around it. You don't have to. It just, just makes it just that tiny bit easier. And you just want to shove it in there and work your way around until it's full in there. Okay. I hope you can see that. Yes, you can. There we go. And just make sure that it does actually sit in really nicely. The next step is, now I've already put this into a cap here. So using, obviously, having your gloves makes a massive difference, but just basically lubricating it all right now you can use certain greases but at the end of the day the brake fluid is going to be inside so it works perfect we're going to grab the piston and we're going to do the same thing now i did give these a good clean there are a couple marks there but when you run your fingers over it there's no indents so it's clean Okay, that means it's going to run over that seal really, really smoothly. So, all you want to be doing is lining it up. Now, if it doesn't go in easily, now just work it in nice and evenly, and you push it in. And that's done. So that's sorted. Now, you do want to be careful not to push it in too far. Um, it does happen. With these guys here, just being really, really careful. Right, you can grab yourself a flathead screwdriver... You can just bring it up just a tiny bit. Be very careful because you don't want to snap that lip. And the last step is you want to grab your boot. Now, I'm not going to show you because I'll, I'll, I'll honestly, I think the last one took me about 10, 20 minutes to try and get this on. All right, but basically what you want to be doing is you want to work that around the edge like this. And then you need to pick that end and sit it all the way around and sit it properly. Now, best thing to do is take your gloves off when you do it, or else you'll be there forever. All right. Now it is it is a it is a hard process, but it's achievable. Now you can see that that's sitting in quite nicely all the way around, and by pushing that in and out, it's not going to it's not coming off. So this one here has got the so I can actually push it from the back, and that's working quite well. So now the last part for me is once these are all rebuilt um, I'll be putting these together and respraying them in silver I always save the spraying to last because obviously um, you don't want to be mucking around with brake cleaner and fluids and all that sort of stuff and then spray it and then it ruins all your paint so that we'll save that one for another video all right guys hopefully you've enjoyed and uh, and it's and it's helped in some particular way uh, if you do have any questions, hit comments. If you like the video, press the like button. Thank you very much.